because the biggest the biggest hoax in the world the biggest hoax in the world is when they say that marijuana plant a ver a common well, not common but it's common to many different cultures ancient cultures and to many different regions of the world usually people say it comes from India because the Indians or the ancient um the ancient um Indus or in the in the Kushites, in those Kushites, speaking of the ancient Ethiopian founders of the original civilization, because they understood and they comprehended marijuana. They they, they comprehended uh, the plant or kaya as some of us might refer to it euphemistically using these different kind of slang um, terminologies and marijuana or kana balsam has many such such um, many such names or or bywords even for the kana balsam. Now, what have we learned so far? From part one, we tried to go through um, part one and give a basic uh, description and definition. The key thing is the definition we tried to give for drug. What is a drug? Now we learned that a drug is that which is processed. That which is processed from the definition in the Webster's according to the etymo etymological, the etymos logos, etymos, the true logos word definition, the root, tracing it back in all of the companion European languages back to the earliest known root of the word, and that gives us a clear idea of the evolution of the word, how the word has evolved, and also the true um, significance of the word. So when we say drugs, we need to understand and comprehend that marijuana, or more correctly, the the kana, or let's put that as a K, the kana balsam is not a drug. Why? Because it is a plant. It's a plant, produces herb, you understand, flowers, and seed, and at least 12 variety of fruits from the biblical definition of what a fruit is. Mm -hmm. Like we would say, that was the fruit of my labor. It might not have been an orange or an apple, you know, but it was the fruit of my labor. I produced, in other words, produced that. So the cannabosum, many have, have likened it to the tree of life, and even stating that it seems to qualify based on what we know in the B-I-B-L-E, the basic instructions before leaving Earth or liberating Ethiopia, if you please. It qualifies as that tree of life or the closest thing that we know in this in this world to the tree of life based on its various fruits and properties and propensities and, and usage, so forth and so on. So let's get that clear. Let's get that fact clear. That marijuana, Mary and John, symbolically speaking in a biblical symbology, Mary and John. They call it cannabis. It's called cannabis is the other name for it. Cannabis. You can see in cannabis the link, you understand, the link with kana, balsam. That's the Hebrew. That's in the Bible. That's, it. That's in the Masoretic text. Kana, the kana, and remember, there was a marriage in the Bible. The marriage took place where? 
at Cana Zegalila, at Cana or Cana of Galilee. Now, biblically speaking, they would say it's a reed. They liken it to a reed, right? A reed. That's that's interesting right there. That is likened to a reed. Because when you look at the Cana balsam, the plant, you understand, as it grows, it has these herb stalks. And these stalks resemble and look like weeds, but it also has flowers. You understand? So there are there are also flowers and there are seeds. It is edible. The herb is edible and it's also good for agriculture. It's good for agriculture. So for stewardship of the land and in the promised land, the herb is very, very, the, the cannabosum, should we say, is very important. When we say herb, we're only speaking about one part of the plant, one part in the sense of the tree. And let's put this right here. So tree, overall, it classifies as a tree, as a living tree, and metaphorically as the tree of life. Mm -hmm. Now, those who hate herb and hate marijuana, you understand, for whatever demonic reasons that they do and claim to be Christian, they have a real problem with this. And, of course, they're the ones shaking their heads and saying they don't agree with, with this Rasta, Farai, or Dread, or whatever they want to call I, whether a son of Jah or... If they want to curse, it will come back to them. But the truth is the truth. The fact is the fact, so do the math. And this is what we're doing. We're doing the math here. So we have drugs. Remember, drugs now. What is drug? We define drug. Drug is something that is processed. Let me just give a, a brief example for those who might just be tuning into this portion of the lecture. The definition of drug it's connected with dry. It's connected with dry. And it's connected with cast. People often mistake, you understand, um, the, the cast of it. But then it was a make, like a pill. You understand? Go take an aspirin. You know, take a, look at an aspirin. Look at a pill or, or even a vitamin or whatnot. You see how it was formed and shaped into that particular shape. So the elements that are in that, the contents are in that, are mistakenly called drugs, but what technically a drug is, according to its definition, is that processing, that man making, taking the various other elements or properties from wherever else he takes it, man takes it, or the men and people take it from nature. They take it from plants, you understand? They take it from other sort of elements, you know? Now they understand calm or chem or chemicals, you understand? And chemistry and chem history. So they, they, they comprehend this more, so now they know how to, they can even make synthetic, you understand, um, marijuana, or at least it will smell like marijuana. You know, they can make these, 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 uh, these scents, aromas, because of the breakdown of the periodical chart and because of studying nature, studying Jah's creation. Now, whenever man now, through his study or knowledge, now takes these elements from various areas and various plants and, 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 and herbs and, and whatever he chooses to use, even foods, we, we pointed out the link between foods and drugs. Based on the definition of what a drug does, a drug can be a food too. So some people even say today that the particular food is their drug. You know, some people like french fries. One time I went through a kind of a, a, a Mickey D's french fries. Yes, I went through a Mickey D's. Some of y'all may, may still be there, but be careful. 
you know what I'm saying, but a Mickey D's French fry, I was about to say fit, you know, and for a moment it was like that. It was like a drug. When you ate it, you felt a certain way, you know, it, 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 it was, you get high. But nobody said that should be illegal. You could go back, as long as you have the money, you go back to that drug dispenser, Mickey D, and you can get more and more and more and keep eating until, like, Kataba, uh, the place where the Israelites ate so much that it came out of their pores, out of their nose. They, they, they were gluttonous. They were sick of the manna, you, you know what I mean, and, 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 and of, the, of, of, of the birds and, and the deaders, the flesh. They wanted flesh. Yahweh gave them flesh, and they ate so much flesh, you understand, that it came out. It, 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 it was nasty. It was disgusting. But that's the way people are living today, you understand, you know, with the whole obesity epidemic and have little children who are already obese because all their meals or meals like Mickey D's or Wendy's or one of these other idol, these idolatry um, um, fast foods. That's what it is, idolatry fast foods. That's why they brand you, you understand? That's why they brand you. And um, that being that. So let's move forward now. So we touch on narcotics too. Just one more thing, just to recap. We touch on narcotics. Narcotics. Now, narcotics. They gave a. They gave an example. They said um, such as opium, and then they pointed out. I think it was what, what was it? Morphine. It was morphine. I remember codeine, heroin, and codeine. And they said this was to relieve pain, induce sleep. Narcotics are often addictive, and in excessive doses can cause stupor or coma. Or death. Now, we know that that is not the case with pure marijuana, you know, with basic, basic and good pure marijuana. It, it, the most it might cause is you to eat and maybe to, to put on a couple of pounds, and if you smoke a little more, then, you know, you're going to have to eat some more or just remain, you know, slender, you know as it were, but be that as it may, it's important for us to, to understand drug first and foremost. This is why we say marijuana is not a drug, marijuana is a plant. And so it does not meet the criterion of definition for drug. Very simple. I mean, people talk about, oh, the law is this. So if the law, which should know, the words that they're using, I'm talking about man-made law, Babylonian law, is misusing words like when Babylon has said in its law, American Constitution, that black man is three-fifths of a man, and it still says it there. They would say they made an amendment, but they did not strike it out of the Constitution. They should have wrote a new document, really. You know, kept everything else in except those racist, you know, those racist um, and anti- um, black Israel um, things that they that they said in it, but they didn't do that, you know. Um, but the law seems not to know its own definition, or it knows its own definition, but no one has really just made it simple. Let's make it simple. Let's just keep it simple. What does drug? How is drug defined? You understand? Because even law must utilize words according to what they mean. You understand? And we follow this in studying Torah. You know, this is the beauty of, of true Rastafari. Because as we study Torah, you understand, we get that same Hebraic, Judaic foundation. And then you get to recognize, oh, that's why there are so many so-called, it seems like it, a lot of Jews who are into law, they always seem to be good to understand money, economics, and law, because this is, this is Torah. You know what I'm saying? This, this is our, this is what we lost, being lost sheep. So then when you come even outside of, of, of the shul, you know what I'm saying, or you come outside of the mikorab, and, and, and you're in the so-called in the world, not of the world, you're going to look at things a little more critically, and then you're going to really study it so you can get the real, 
You understand the real deal out of it. Otherwise, you're getting short change. Otherwise, somebody's playing a trick. This is why the Bible says over and over, it says to search out a matter, to search it out. You understand? To investigate it. You understand? To study these things and to know the truth for yourself so you can defend your argument. And then when you stand up for your rights, you have full confidence. You understand? In the victory of good over evil because you have checked how you stand and you recognize the foundation. You can defend that. You understand? So if, you, if we must fight, you know, if we must fight, if necessary, we're confident in victory of good over evil. When we fight, we're confident about what we are fighting for. You understand? And if we should give our life, you understand, even for the cause, and we must be willing to in spirit and in truth because our God and the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, he raised Yeshua, you understand? And this is part of our, our right faith, then we are confident that even so he will raise I and I. So then you can focus. You don't have to have all these fears and phobias that now begin to depress you and start to open you up for demonic psychical attack, and then you have to run out there and take all these um, pharmaceuticals. You understand? And here's where we now go to the next part of this lecture, pharmaceuticals. What is pharmaceuticals? You understand? What is pharmaceuticals? Now, pharmaceuticals, should we go to the dictionary? I think we should go to the dictionary. We originally went to the scriptures, you understand, um, to find, because we already kind of knew this, but with all this talk about Whitney Houston and, and pharmaceuticals and prescription drugs and, and this and that and seeing the, you know, the poor, you know, the poor lost she, you know, seeing her like that, that was just, it's, it's horrible. You understand? Of course, a lot of it is the choices that she made as well. You understand? But we also have to recognize that whenever the sheep go astray, there's always a wolf or wolves howling at the moon that are preying on that lost sheep. And this is the next side of the investigation. So we go to pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. For short, it is, it is farm. We call it Big Pharma. There's a video out there. You might be able to see it on the YouTubes. It's called Big Pharma. Big Pharma. P-H-A-R-M-A. -A. Go check it out. It's, it's, very, it's, it's a good video. There's a couple of them out there, but that's one particular one that I think will help one, if one is not familiar with what this is all about, understand a little bit better from a, a, a worldly perspective, a secular perspective, but still that will give you a good insight. So as we go forward with this more biblical, foundational, you understand, expose, exposing what is behind the so-called um, pharma, pharmaceutical industry, it will become clear when we now look at the news and hear about the Whitney Houston's or the Michael Jackson's, the, the, the fallen black stars, many of them who have sold their souls for fame and fortune and, and, and fun and all, the, all that other stuff. You know, remember, Satan, Diablos, promise you whatever. You know what I'm saying? He promised you whatever. And, and the worldly things in this world system, which is his world system, of course, they're his things. You understand? Know You're living in his system. That's no problem. You understand? Know but things like life, that's a problem for the devil. You understand? Know because he doesn't create that in his system. In fact, he destroys that in his system. But pharmaceutical open etymological bracket LL, not cool J, late Latin, LL, means, uh, it says pharmaceuticus. So in late Latin, it was pharmaceuticus, derived from Greek pharmacuticos, 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 derived from pharmacuenin, 
Quenin, Quen. And it says to practice witchcraft. What? To practice witchcraft. To use medicine. That's the second. The second. Um, first, to practice the, the primary definition is to practice witchcraft. Secondarily, it is to use medicine derived from pharmacone. Pharmacone. Pharmacone means a poison medicine. Remember we told you, we said that even in the Ethiopic and the other Afro-Semitic languages like um, Hebrew and even Arabic and the, and the Royal Amharic of the Metaf Kedus, the Book of the Seven Seals of His Majesty, that the word medicine also has, a, has, has another is double entendre kind of meaning, and it can also be as a poison, because what is medicine for one is poison for the other. And that also explains the war against cannabosa. What is medicine for one is poison for the other, even though alcohol, on the other hand, has been proven to be far more dangerous, unhealthy, and deadly alcohol. We're not talking about our sabbatical wine or, 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 or pure and, and wine made in, in, in the kosher way, you know, or hydro meal like edge, your wine edge. We're not speaking of that. You understand? We're speaking about these alcohol, you understand, which have more pharmaceuticals in them then you can probably even name. So pharmacone means a poison or medicine. Now, close etymological brackets. The, the connotation, one, of pharmacy or pharmacist. So pharmaceuticals or pharmacy or pharmacist, okay. Second, of or by drugs, not by, B-U-Y, but by, B-Y, of or by drugs. You know, like um, this video is by the Lion of Judas Society and Rasia Yadinos. But they're saying that pharmaceutical is of or by drugs. So, so the, you remember what the definition, our definition of drugs? Drugs basically is a man-made concoction. You understand? Know it could be a good concoction. You know, or it could be a bad one. Spells could be applied to one, while another one can be done just in, in true faith and love of the God who created heaven and earth and the sea and all that is therein. You know what I mean? So we're not saying this against medicine, because we don't want some folks, you know, you might be even taking prescriptions for something, and perhaps those prescriptions you're taking is, doing well and helping you to heal, not just keeping you in a loop and everything. Well, then that is good. You see, so we don't want ones, we want to make a little disclaimer that we're not saying that um, all so-called drugs are bad because pharmaceutical mean to practice witchcraft and the majority of these pharmaceuticals that always seem to be in the news in some very strange way, and they've been suppressing a lot of, a lot of the real dirt, you understand, on the big pharma, the funny farm industry. That's why we recommended the video, Big Pharma, as at least one introduction. If you haven't seen it already, it should be out there on the YouTubes or Google or out there on the Internet. You should be able to, you know, um, at least view a copy. We're pretty sure that it's out there. Um, if it's if it's not, um, we'll try to, to you know make it available or see what we can do about it. But still look for it. The internet is a you know got a lot of stuff out there, and big pharma should be um, out there as well. But what is becoming very clear now? What's becoming very clear is why they say what they say and how they're doing what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? Otherwise, when you, I don't know about you, some of y'all may be brainiacs or a part of the industry or something like that. So y'all know exactly, you know, um, all about this. But a lot of us, 
you know, haven't had the opportunity to study up and, you know, become, you know, masters of all these different, you know, these different um, um, sciences. Because they are sciences, you know, the chem chemistry is a science. It's a, it's a particular knowledge and training. But the key is the word. This is why we began with the word from the very beginning. The key is the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, the true God, Ha Elohim, and the word was God. You see, in the beginning was the word, and we have faith that right faith and correct faith that all that we see was created by the word. You understand? Was created by word, sound, and power. So this now opens up to us the true matrix. Just like in the movie. Remember in the movie where Neo got to a certain level of consciousness? Neo, the new man, the born again man, got to a certain level of consciousness where he could actually see in all the things that were around him, it's code, it's breakdown. He saw the word. By seeing that code, he was seeing the word, you understand, of that, that created all that that is. But they didn't, first of all, the Wachowski or whatever brothers, they did, I guess, an okay movie, as it were, you understand? I mean, pretty good in some ways, interesting. But who hasn't gotten credit is our black sister, you understand, our, our Afro-Israelite sister, you understand, um, Sophia Stewart, you understand. That sister is the one who, you see, these ideas, they come from us, just like the Bible, you understand. The Bible is a black book, you understand. It doesn't mean that other people cannot or should not know. They like, they like soul music, they like jazz, R&B, you understand, they, I'm sure, you know, most white folks, unless they have an extreme racist handicap, you understand, like some form of black culture and music and appropriates it as though it were his or her own. There's nothing wrong with that, but still recognize. Recognize who is the creator of that, and one would begin to also recognize God, recognize the true order of God. And this is what we need, this, this rise in our consciousness, because the time is very, very late, my brothers and sisters. But we still have time to redeem. Now, farmer. So farmer now, the root of farmer, when we look at this biblically, this is the part we want to touch on. When we look at this biblically, we find farmer three times, you understand, three times in the Bible. Pharmaceuticals. You understand, pharmaceuticals. In fact, let's see if we can, um, let's see, pharmaceutical. I think you go like this. Pharmaceutical. Far. Let's see the the meh. This is this might be uh might look like Greek to you. You understand? Because it it is that's pharmaceutical. Yeah, I mean that's that that's pharma uh, pharma K 